God bless you, everyone. Minister Curtis coming to you today, this Sunday morning. We give praise and thanks to God for just blessing us to see another day of worship. As we prepare to go into the house of worship today, we just want to just thank God for his many blessings that he bestows upon us. And we're so thankful, amen, to just be saved still and have a mind to go to church and to serve the Lord and to be amongst the other people of God and children of God. And, you know, this is a day that the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. I just thank God, amen, for each and every one of you. Amen. Uh, we just pray God blessing continuously upon your lives that you will seek him and just hear the word of God as you hear it. Just listen to it. You know, receive the word of God. Amen. And just uh, allow God to just bless you and change your lives. Amen. He's willing. He's able. Amen. To do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask or think. Hallelujah. And the word of God tells us that even by the power that dwells within us. Amen. So, you know, I'm thankful to God for this day. This will be a short uh, video. Amen. I just want to just take a little time out and to just, you know, to just um, reach out to you, you know, to let you know that God love you. Jesus love you. You know, and that he's, he's died for you and uh, he's still saved. Amen. God is still healing. He's still in the healing business. He's still a miracle worker. So, you know, whatever your problems are, you know, you're going through in life. You know, if you need the Lord, amen, just seek him. Amen. Why he can be found. Call on God. Call on Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And just, just, just turn it all over to him. Whatever's going on in your lives. Amen. You know, your children or whatever, your finances or whatever. Amen. In your bodies. Amen. You know, just believe God. God, that he will make a way for you. I want to pray for you as I close. Amen. And Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for each and every one. Father God, that listen and watch our teachings. Father, we just praise you, God, for this glorious day. We thank you for the God that you are. We thank you that you are a God of love. Hallelujah. Mercy, Father God. A God of grace, Father God, full of compassion, Father. And we pray and lift up that person in the hospital that is sick right now, that you would just touch their bodies, dispatch angels to touch them in the name of Jesus. I even speak healing over their bodies in Jesus' name. Whatever is going on in their bodies, Father God, we just know that you are a healer, Father God. We pray for the person that is having financial problems in their lives. Father God, we pray for them, Father God, that they will become givers, Father, that they will learn the, the principle of sowing and reaping, Father God, as your word say, we give, it shall be given unto us. Good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. Touch them to give, Father God, to some ministry, Father God, to reach out to help the homeless, to help someone that is in need, that their needs may be supplied, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray, Father God, for the families, Father God, that's having problems, God, in the home, Father God. We pray for those marriages. We pray for those children. They be obedient to their parents. We pray that these parents, Father God, will step up, Father God, and be the parent that they should be concerned in their children, Father God, that they will be more committed in their children's lives, that they will help them and counsel them and work with them and teach them, show them the way they should go the right way, Father God, that they will even do discipline, Father God, when it's necessary and needed. Father God, we pray, God, for the marriage, for once again, God, that the husband and wives, God, will work together, they will flow together in unity and love. Hallelujah, Father God, that they will do, God, that which is right. Hallelujah. They will seek you, God. Hallelujah. For those that are not saved, for salvation concerning their lives. Lives, Father, that you would keep their marriage together, Father. We praise you and we thank you for everyone, Father, all over the world. And God, we pray for every person that is not saved, every sinner man, every woman, boy and girl, despite of their colors or race or whatever. God, we just pray, God, that salvation, God, they will receive it, God, that they will accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. We pray for the nations, God, that peace, God, your peace, your perfect will, God, will be done here on earth. Among Amongst me and Father God, we give you all the thanks and glory, honor and praise. As your word said, blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. So we pray for world peace, Father, in Jesus' precious holy name. Thank you for the service on the day, Father God. We thank you for your blessings, Father God, and all that you will do in the service on today. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. This has been Minister Curtis Jones on behalf of Second Chance Overcomers Ministry. My wife Clarice and I, Clarice Jones, Minister Clarice Jones, Father God, we just want to continue to wish you all a happy Sunday. Be safe out there. Amen. And just continue to show love one towards the other in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Always remember, God is a God of a second chance. We love you.